the Rawling synthetic spine longsword is a decent synthetic longsword for Hema. At the price that it can be found on Cold of Athena for seventy four or at ninety five, it is good for beginners, though it has many drawbacks. Some good attributes about it are the price for only seventy four ninety five it is one of the least expensive on the market and compared and compared to the only similarly priced competitor the cold steel ones it is much better as the cold steel ones are rather more like clubs than swords it also is rather flexible allowing to re reduce impact while thrusting or even cutting so you do not injure those you're sparring with, though you still want to wear protection while using it, as it still hits hard. As you can see from some of the images I took off of my test on... A main drawback is its tendency to stay bent. If one leaves it sitting on a stand, resting like this, or even just laying down, or leaning up against a wall, either like this, or this, doesn't matter what way, you will find it in the morning, bent, or even after a few hours, bent, even up to this far, and you can even bend further as the softness of the plastic. Mine has stayed relatively straight, as after finding the bending problem, I've kept it hanging off of hooks like those. These swords can easily be malformed, and as you see from my test, it holds up rather well in shape. And that despite the fact it's lightweight, and they've rounded the ends of the quillons as to lessen the chances of injury from those though they still hurt rather hard when they hit you as they are still solid plastic that is actually stiffer than the blade another problem it has is the fact that the pummel has a tendency of unscrewing and coming off usually you'll catch it and it won't come off in a match or in practice I've never had it happen sparring or practice though I have had it loosened up to the point even where it was rattling like this that could be quickly tightened up. Or maybe you want to loosen up. You know, you can always use it for ending them quickly or rightly, though it rather isn't very quick. Speaking of that, you can also get an extended pummel for them of this length, which lengthens the grip. This puts it more similar to many fader spurts are still chain swords in length as those are normally longer this actually places at the same length as my fader spurt that I shall make a video about later which is from Kingston Arms overall I find that it handles better with the longer pummel as it brings the balance of the blade back with the short normal pummel it bounces rather far from the guard for a training longsword this leads to it having a rather clunky feel compared to an actual longsword despite being lighter and actually the same approximately the same length and dimensions as my windless falls were long sword that is meant for cutting this rolling synthetic feels a lot more clunky in the hand trying to swing in one hand which you normally would not do feels rather clumsy but my Bosworth long sword which is an actual steel sharp long sword feels nimble even in one hand but once you have the extended pummel it corrects some of these problems 
Other problems it has is that the guard is rather loose. As you can see, I can wiggle it many degrees back and forth. This is a problem when it comes to catching things on the equivalents, as it can often bend it back and slip off, which makes some techniques difficult to do. And as like all synthetics, it, its squishiness and flexibility lead to it being hard to fill the bind when using it. The Rawlings is especially bad at that. When using it, I find that you usually don't really fill in a bind you've entered, or even a block. You hear it, but you don't really fill it, which is a problem. The interesting thing is, if you instead prefer disc-shaped pummels over the stopper mushroom or pear shape, you can take the disc-shaped pummel from the Rawling synthetic arming sword and put it on the long sword, though it does not fit perfectly, so it will be loose. But you can have a disc shaped pummel on this if you prefer those, though it will be loose due to it not, it not being meant for this exact model. <laughs>